I'm back on the YouTube channel today, and I'm going to be reading a little bit to you about the 40 purposes of the rapture today. We're going to be talking about that. Number one is for Christ to receive the saints of all past ages to himself, John 14. To take all raptured saints to heaven, John 14, 1 Thessalonians 3, 1 Thessalonians 4. To meet the saints in the air, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-18. Number four, to settle the saints into their mansions. John 14, 1 through 3, Hebrews 11, 10 through 16, Hebrews 12, 22 to 23, and Hebrews 13, 14. Number five, to bring great joy to soul winners. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 2, 19 and 20, 2 Corinthians 1, 14. Number six, to present the saints to God in heaven. 1 Thessalonians 3, 13. Number seven, to make the saints whole in body, soul, and spirit, 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. Uh, to judge the saints at the judgment seat of Christ, Romans 14, 10 through 12, 1 Corinthians 3, verses 11 to 15, 2 Corinthians 5, 10, uh, Philippians 3, 10 and 11, 2 Timothy 4, 1 and verse 8. Number nine, to confirm the saints blameless, 1 Corinthians 1, 8. 1 Thessalonians 3.13 and 5.23. Number 10, to assign positions as kings and priests to rule all creations. 1 Corinthians 6, 1 through 3, Luke 22.30, Revelation 1.5, Revelation 2.26 and 27, uh, Revelation 5.10, Daniel 7, 1 through 27. Number 11, to resurrect all saints of the New Testament and Old Testament times. 1 Corinthians 15.23, verses 34 to 35 to 44, 2 Corinthians 4.14, Philippians 3.11, Daniel 12.2, John 5.28 and 29, 1 Thessalonians 4.13 to 18, Revelation 20 verses 4 through 6. Number 12, to change the saints from mortality to immortality, 1 Corinthians 15.51 to 56, and uh, Philippians 3.21. Number 13, to reward the saints with different glories. 1 Corinthians 15, 23, number 14, to give saints victory over death, hell, and the grave. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 to 56. Number 15, to give saints everlasting life. Galatians 6, 7 through 9. And number 16, to show the saints God's eternal riches and grace. Ephesians 2, 7 and 3 and 11. To give the saints their inherited kingdom. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Number 18, to present the church to himself. Ephesians 5, 27. Number 19, to complete the work started in the saints. Philippians 1, 6. Number 20, to change the vile bodies of saints. Philippians 3, 21. To appear with the saints in glory. Number 21. Colossians 3, 4. Number 22, to permit the coming of the man of sin. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7 and 8. Number 23, to give the saints a crown of righteousness. 2 Timothy 4, 8. Uh, 24, to give the saints the reality of the blessed hope. Titus 2, 13. Number 25, to take the saints to the new Jerusalem to live. Hebrews 11, 10 through 16. And 12, verses 22 and 23. John 14, 1 through 3. Number 26, to receive the fruit of the early and latter rain. James 5, verses 7 and 8. Number 27, to give the saints final salvation and grace. 1 Peter 1, 5, verse 7, verse 9, and verse 13. So as we look at these, when I go through my list today, and we talk about the 40 purposes of the rapture. Number 28, to give the saints a reckoning day. 1 Peter 4, 5 through 6. Number 29, to reveal the glory of God and Christ to the saints. 1 Peter 4, 13. Number 30, to give the saints an abundant entrance into the kingdom, 2 Peter uh, 1, 11. And as we're going through this, let me keep going through it. Number 31, to make the saints confident and unashamed, 1 John 2, 28. Number 32, to make the saints like Christ, 1 John 3, 2. Number 33, to reveal Christ to saints as he actually is, 1 John 3, 2. 
Number 34, to fulfill with saints all the promises to believers. Revelation 2, 7, verses 11, verse 17, verse 26 and 27. Revelation 3, 5, 2 Peter 1, 4, and 2 Corinthians 1, 20. Number 35, to take the saints out of the earth for the duration of the tribulation. Luke 21, verses 34 to 36. Number 36, to end the church age and make it possible for God to deal more exclusively with Israel to fulfill with them the latter-day prophecies. Daniel 9, 27, Daniel 11, uh, verses 4 through 45, Zechariah 12, 1 through Zechariah 14, 15, Matthew 24 and 25, Luke 21, 1 through 11, 2 Thessalonians 2, Revelation 1, 19, and Revelation 4, 1. Number 37, to free the saints from the coming wrath of God. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 11. Number 38, to take the hinderer of lawlessness out of the world. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7 and 8. Number 39, to give church saints at least seven years to live in heaven, to become acquainted with the future life and prepare for the earth's rulership. John 14, 1 through 3, Daniel 9, 27, Ephesians 2, 7, and 3, 11. And then number 40, the last one, to have the saints in heaven, to partake of the marriage supper, and to accompany Christ back to earth, to fight at the battle of Armageddon, Revelation 19, 1 through 21, Zechariah 14, 1 through 5, Matthew 24, 29 to 31, 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9, and Jude 14, 15. And just think, if there would be no rapture until the second event, then all of these purposes would be canceled. So I'll give you 40, 40 purposes of the rapture today to explain more about Bible prophecy. Remember, Jesus is Lord, and God bless you.